Hello everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore and today I'm sharing, yes, a holiday project but it's going to be here before you know it and if you're a crafter you love doing things ahead of time I had a request actually for one of these last year and I'm sorry I just couldn't get to it but um, I'm going to do it this year so this is a pretzel box and I'll, actually I do make these pretzels um, sometimes at the holiday season. These I bought at my local um, Marshall's Home Goods store and they had a box of 12 I believe and there's like three or no four different kinds. So that's what I'm using for this project. So you might want to check out your Home Goods store <laughs> if you don't make them yourself. So this is one of the pretzels. Isn't that yummy looking with the little M&Ms? So I love that you can see these and the box closes like this to the back. I like that. This is all from our new holiday catalog. So everything will be available September 1st, which is coming very quickly. <laughs> so you can order all of these. Um, go to my blog at stampinwiththemore.com. So all the supply list and everything will be on there and you can order from the holiday catalog on September 1st. And these are our new stocking stamp set. I'm so in love with this. If you saw my haul, you know this uh, was one of my favorite. If you haven't seen it, you can check it out on my YouTube channel. So here is the stamp set. And it's called Hang Your Stocking. And so it's really, really cute. Look at the different kind of stockings that you can make. And the sentiments are real cute too. So we're using this little holly and the little berries and then we're going to use this stocking and then it has coordinating framelits if you buy it as um, a bundle you get save 10 percent so these are the framelits and actually i already have the framelits out that we're going to use for the other ones it even has the holly and berry framelits and this is a solid one in case you don't want to cut the little designs in it um, I'm going to use this one for that. And it also has this little Noel border. I can't wait to use this. This is so cute. So there's a lot of pieces in this set. There's 17 pieces. And so it coordinates with the stock, hang your stocking framelit. I mean, hang your stocking stamp set. So then we're going to use, also this is Project Life, um, Life, cards and labels and this is available now and I'm using this framelit here for our window all right and then the next the only other thing that we're going to use is our layering ovals and that's just to cut this oval out here if you have an oval punch that will work probably too but I'm going to use this oval right here I just didn't have one that would fit this little Merry Christmas and this Merry Christmas is also from the same stamp set. Alright, so let's get started. I can't wait to share this with you. It's so cute. Alright, so this one, you are going to need a piece of real red, and this is 11 by 5 and a half. So to mat it, we're going to mat it with our new Holiday Candy Cane Lane um, designer series paper. This is beautiful. Check it out on my haul if you haven't seen it. I love this this uh, paper. And then we're going to need a window sheet at four by one and a quarter. So that's everything. So let me get my scoring tool up here and we'll begin scoring. Alright, so on the five and a half inch side we're going to score it at one half inch. And I'm just scoring it, um, lining it, line it up on this side, it's just easier for me. So uh, one half, and then we're going to do it at two, at three, and at four and a half. And then we're going to turn it on the 11 inch side, we're going to do it at one half. And then one and a half, and at ten. Okay, so that we're done there. Let's go ahead and cut it to where we need to cut. So if you can see this, 
This one here, this little square, has two little squares on each side. So we want to keep those. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut these four right here out. All right, now we're going to cut each one to the second score mark here. And then we're going to lift this and we're going to cut this top one off here. And then this one here. So it's going to look like that. And on the bottom here, we're just going to cut this little corner rectangle off. And then we're going to cut each one of these up. I am going to cut a little slit out, sliver, so it just folds in easier. Alright, so this is what it looks like. Let me grab my bone folder and we'll sharpen all the score marks. Okay, so now we're ready to mat it. And we want to mat it before we put our little window in it. So I'll grab my Fast Fuse. And we're going to mat the piece that has the little flap here. Just center it. And then I'm going to take my corner rounder and I'm going to round the corners up here. And this will just help it to fold in easier. I'm sorry if you're hearing the lawn mower going, but my neighbor always does this when I'm doing a video. All right, so let's grab the Big Shot and get our window put in here. And our little framelit. And I have my magnetic platform down and one of my regular plates. And I'm gonna put it down a little bit. And then we're gonna run this through. To bring this up again but let's move it out of the way for now and we have our window there so let's grab our little window sheet and I'm gonna put some more fast views and I'm just gonna go along the sides and we'll just set it on top and you have your little window in. All right, now the best thing to do is to use tear and tape. I'm gonna use these. I usually use, uh, you can probably use Fast Fuse if the pretzel isn't that heavy. I, the Fast Fuse is actually a really strong adhesive. I just feel better using the tear and tape. I feel like it just stays longer and keeps the boxes together. So since I'm making these so far ahead, um, I just want to be sure they stay uh, good and closed and they stay together. All right, so we're going to fold that and it will line up just right. And there you go. So now when you're making the front, always fold this one back. I always say that because it looks more professional. It's cleaner looking. And then here, this is another one of the pretzels and they're all individually wrapped. I love that about that. If you don't buy them and you make them yourself, Stampin' Up! has these new two by eight inch cellophane bags and this would probably be perfect for that. So you can just wrap it up or just wrap it in 
wrap it up really good and look how cute you can see these from the front they're so cute and it just folds in the back here and it fits really good and tight that's why I round the corners this one's being a little stubborn all the other ones went in fine <laughs> all right so there it is all right let's set that aside and I'm gonna grab some whisper white and we'll do our stamping I already stamped the Merry Christmas because I'm using Versamark and these are all from the same set so I stamped the Merry Christmas that is this one right here and I used stamped it a Versamark and I embossed it with our gold embossing um, powder and then I used one of our layering oval framelits and it's this one right here if you have a uh, oval punch it probably work um, I didn't have one big enough and then I just punched it out or, or I used the framelit put it through the big shot <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and stamp our stocking and I'm going to use some real red and then I'm going to use some garden green for my little holly we're going to stamp them all and send them all through the big shot at the same time we're going to ink up our stocking we'll stamp that this is such a cute stocking I just love it there we go and then our holly and then we'll use our garden green for our actually those are the berries did I say holly <laughs> all right so this is the holly now let's close up the ink and then we will bring up the big shot again And again, I'm going to use my magnetic platform, my regular plate, and sometimes these little ones will not stay in place. For some reason, these magnets are distributed is what I heard. They're distributed in certain areas. That's why if you have one, and it, just move it around on your platform. But since we're doing a bunch, I'm just going to use a little post-it tape to keep it in place. And especially on these little pieces I think this little the holly will be okay but I know this berry will be jumping around they always do when they're that little so you just need a little piece to hold it place there okay let's run it through stayed in there <laughs> all right here we go all right, let's move this out of the way so I can get all the pieces all right so we have our stocking our holly and our little berries those things are so small it's easy to so let's bring in this box again and I'm going to use some of our this is our holiday um, baker's twine and this one's so cute it looks like candy cane but it's sparkly and then this is just our regular real red these come in a package together and this is also in our new holiday catalog so I'm going to wrap this around a couple times and I'm leaving the ends long enough so I can tie a bow I'm going to grab my hole punch here. I'm going to put a little hole in the stocking here. And then I'm going to string this through. 
tie a bow. I think I'm going to tie a bow. And you can make it whatever size you like. I'm just going to make a little one. Cut the ends off. And now we're going to attach with some blue dots our holly and our berries. Blue dot got off centered a little bit. Scoot that over just a hair. There we go. And then with a dimensional, I'm going to add the little Merry Christmas that's embossed. Love this little Merry Christmas. I love the font on this. And we're just going to put it right here. So there you have it. It's so cute and really, really simple. So here's the other ones I made. I'm going to make a bunch of these. I'm actually going to make all of the ones that I bought because I thought these would be really, really cute little gifts. So there you have it. If you need any supplies for this project, you can go to my blog at stampingwithamore.com and you can shop right from my blog now remember that it, the catalog goes live september 1st so september 1st you can get all you need for this project everyone i will catch you in the next video have a blessed day bye